Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I love everything craft and DIY. In today's video, I have some fun new 10 tier tray Christmas decor items to share with you guys. I'm so excited to see what you guys think. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. For this first project, I am going to make a beaded garland. So I just have these beads that I get from Amazon. I typically get all of my beads from there and I'm just going to string it on some twine. Once I get the desired amount of beads on there, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a tassel. I just wrapped it around some cardboard. I could not find my template for a long garland. So this is what I did. I just wrapped it around some cardboard to the desired length that I wanted it and wrapped it around about 10 times, tied a knot towards the top, wrapped the twine around the tassel around the top and then tied that in place. I cut off all the excess and then I just strung it onto my garland. Now I'm gonna take these bells that I got from Hobby Lobby, they were $6.99 but they were half off. And then I'm going to start making a bow. I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby as well. I just started off by cutting off a piece, looping it onto itself and hot gluing it together. I then took another piece for the tails and I just wrapped some twine around the two of them and tied them together. I'm gonna take the twine that I use to wrap around the bow and then I'm gonna take the twine from the other end of the garland and I'm gonna tie those together so that the bow is tied onto the garland. I'm gonna take those two pieces of twine that are hanging down the middle and I'm gonna use those to string my bells onto them. I'm gonna tie them so one is higher and one of them is lower than the other. And that is it for this cute little garland. I absolutely love the bow and bells on the end. I think it's absolutely adorable and I don't have any other garlands like this so I was really excited for this one. For this next one, you are going to get some tags. Now you can get tags like this from the Dollar Tree. The only difference is that these tags are a little bit thicker, so they're not super flimsy. Now I'm going to start by painting one of these red and one of these white, and I did have to do about two coats on each of these. After that, I'm going to take some painter's tape and tape off my white tag. I'm just going to do two stripes, one down the side and one down the bottom, and I'm going to use that red Waverly chalk paint. I've been loving adding these stripes to all of my decor lately. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed, but I think it just adds the perfect little touch to everything, gives every anything a little bit more detail, adds a good pop of color. So I have really been enjoying this technique for my home decor items. Next, I'm going to take that red tag. I'm going to put some hot glue on the back and hot glue it right down to the white tag, making sure that the holes for each tag line up together. I'm going to string some twine through it, tie a knot for it to be a little hanger. Next, I'm going to apply this decal that I cut out from my Cricut, and I'm just going to apply this on the front. I'm going to take this ribbon and make a little bow with it and just hot glue that right to the top and then this little tag sign is all done. I think it's so cute. I absolutely love everything with tags, anything with stripes. I'm just all about it this year. So I thought this turned out so cute. So for this next project, I'm going to take this scrap piece of wood that I got from my garage. I'll have the dimensions on the screen right here. And I'm going to start by painting it white in my Waverly chalk paint. And then I'm going to take my sandpaper and distress all the edges. And then I'm going to add my decals to it. So I did make this decal over in Cricut Design Space. So I will link it down below if you have a Cricut. I'll also link the free printable. And then if you are interested in the vinyl decal itself and you don't have a Cricut, then I will link my Facebook shop where you can purchase it from there. So I just start by adding each little piece of my decal. I did have several different pieces and when you put it all together, I think this looks so cute. And here is how my little letter to Santa turned out. Now for this next project, you're gonna need some of these paper cones. 
I got these from Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure you can get them from any craft store. And I'm going to take some ribbon. This ribbon is from Michaels, and I'm going to start cutting this into little strips. And then I'm also going to take two other rolls of ribbon that I believe I got from Hobby Lobby and then Joanne's. So just, you know, ribbon from all over the place. And I'm going to cut all of these into little strips. After I've gotten them all cut out, I'm going to start hot gluing them together into a little loop. So I basically just take some hot glue, place it on the end of a piece of ribbon, and then hot glue the, those two ends together. After I've done that, I'm going to start assembling my little tree. So I'm going to take that ribbon and I'm going to hot glue it right down to the cone. I'm going to make sure that that first layer is evenly lined with the bottom of the cone. I'm going to go all the way around that and then I'm going to go to my next layer, making sure that I'm covering up the bottom layer's top. And I'm just going to do that same thing all the way around in what you can do this in whatever pattern you want, any other ribbon that you want. I'm then going to take that original ribbon and I am going to hot glue it to the tip of the tree and then I'm going to wrap it around just to cover up the kind of ugly seam cuts <laughs> of the last layer. And then I'm going to take this star that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue this right to the top. And then for this second one, this is kind of similar to another tree that I've done using some poster board from the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to take my twine, hot glue it to the bottom, and now I'm just going to begin wrapping it all around the tree any which way. It's not going to be in a straight, perfect line. I just wanted this one to look really messy and just kind of all over the place. So I would wrap it around, hot glue a little bit, wrap it around, hot glue until it was completely covered in the twine. And then I'm going to take some red and black buffalo check ribbon, tie a little bow, and then I'm going to take this white berry garland that I got from Michaels. I'm just going to take the white strips and I'm going to hot glue two of those around my tree. And then I'm going to hot glue the bow to the top of my tree. And this is how my little twine tree turned out. Now for this next project, I'm going to take a square dowel that I got, I believe from Joann's. It came in a little, pretty long strip and I cut it into eight pieces. So I cut four pieces at an inch and a half and then I cut four pieces into four inches. And then the little square piece right there is actually from one of the square planks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I just cut it down into about three by three. And I'm gonna start by staining all these in my Craft Smart stain in gray. Once that is dried and I'm all done, I'm gonna start assembling my little lantern. So I'm gonna start by taking a four inch piece, adding a inch and a half piece in between those two four inch pieces, basically just making a square. And then once I have that all together, I'm just going to hot glue that down to my little platform. And then for this next project, you're going to take one of these small little mason jars. You can get a big pack of these from Joann's. I'm going to take some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to hot glue that around my mason jar. And then I'm going to take some twine and I'm going to start hot gluing it and wrapping it around the top of the mason jar where the little ridges are. I'm going to take some more twine and I'm going to wrap it around that ribbon and tie a bow. Now I took this faux snow that I got from Hobby Lobby and made a huge mess with it and then poured it into my mason jar. I'm going to take some Mod Podge, add it to it, and then mix it all up. I wanted to make sure that this wasn't going to fall over or better yet, one of my kids were going to grab it and make a ginormous mess all over my house. So I added some Mod Podge and until it got to the consistency that I wanted it added a little bit more on top so it looked a little bit more like it didn't have Mod Podge all over it. I took some hot glue and started hot gluing these faux trees down that you can get from the dollar store. You can get them from Target Dollar Spot or even Hobby Lobby. And I just stuck these down into the faux snow and once the Mod Podge was completely dried with the trees and everything inside, everything is stuck and glued on down in there and they're not going anywhere. 
For this next project, I'm going to make a little wood slice snowman. So I'm going to take two wood slices that you can get from, again, basically any kind of craft store. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to take a bigger one and a smaller one, and I'm going to hot glue those together. I'm going to add some hot glue to the back and take a piece of ribbon and wrap it around the neck of the snowman. I'm going to tie two knots for his little scarf, and then I will hot glue his scarf down to his little body, and I'll cut off the excess ribbon as well. After that, I took a Sharpie to make his little buttons on his body, one in black, and then a red Sharpie to add his nose, and then I went back in with the black Sharpie and did some dots for his mouth and for his eyes. But I just thought that these next couple projects would be super fun to do with kids or your grandkids. You could hang it as an ornament if you wanted, and write their write the year on the back of it i just think that little crafts like these are super fun especially for my girls who are constantly in the room while i'm crafting wanting to craft with me now this next project again would be something really fun to do with your kids or your grandkids you're gonna take a bag of pine cones that you can get from the dollar tree i picked out three and i began painting them Now I got these glitter paints from Folk Art. I bought them from Walmart and I'm just going to go over the red and the green with the correlating colors with the red and the green. And then for the white one, I did take a silver in that same brand and added the silver glitter on top. Now I am going to hot glue these down to these little stems that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take some twine and I'm going to hot glue it and wrap it around each of those little stems. I'm going to tie three bows and I'm going to hot glue each bow to, to the bottom of the pine cone. And I thought these were so cute to be little Christmas trees. Again, you could do a little craft with your kids and your family and I just think that they are super cute for being some pine cones. Now this next project, you're going to take one of these little buckets that you can get from the Dollar Tree. You can get two for a dollar. And I just started off by painting it in my Waverly chalk paint and steel. I didn't worry about getting a full coat because I wanted to do a bit of a galvanized look to this bucket. So after I've painted that, I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in elephant with a natural hair bristle brush and I'm just going to start dabbing it all over the bucket, trying to make that galvanized kind of rusty old bucket look to it. And then once I've done that, I'm going to add this reindeer feed decal that I cut out from my Cricut. Add that on there, put the little handle back on, and this project is done. For this last project, I thought it would be fun to show you just a way you can spruce up your mugs from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed this one from there. I cut myself out this hot chocolate 10 cents little decal, and I'm just going to add this right onto my mug. I think it's so cute, even if you're just using it as a display item or if you're going to drink out of it. Either way, I think it's so fun to put cute little decals on your mugs and use them on your tiered trays.
that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know which project was your favorite down in the comments below. Remember to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Wake up with a smile. The feeling is right today. Magic in the air.